So I've made a lot of videos in the recent past about, or like the past six months to a year, about Kyle Kalinske fans growing disillusioned with the channel. This video is going to be a little bit different in terms of the outlook of this video, but I'm going to dive into this a little bit because I think I have an interesting analysis about Secular Talk as a channel, where it's gone, and things that a lot of people have talked about because I know a lot of people in this channel are fans of Secular Talk. It was obviously a huge influence in me creating the ch my channel, um, and so I also have a lot of perspective too because I had been watching his channel since I think like summer 2015. Um, so someone again sends this tweet, uh, this post on the subreddit, and again, this is like something that's been very, very consistent. And so there's another post. It's just been nonstop. First of all, a lot of people talking about why isn't Kyle growing? Why isn't Kyle growing? His channel has stagnated subscriber-wise, but it does appear that his channel has is actually growing again. Um, I think due to the uh, he had some viral videos. He had one viral video about Kanye and Alex Jones that went huge, like 500,000 views. Uh, but this guy says, has Secular Talk lost touch for you a little? It's something that just came into mind, but I feel like Secular Talk has lost touch. I wish Kyle the best and he tends to cover important and entertaining topics. But before his content was coming from a young, relatable, emotionally charged college student, and now his video is just like listening to a boring couple talk about politics. I don't mean offense towards him or anyone who watches this, but I've noticed the change. I'm not subscribed to Crystal and I don't really care how she presents politics. I miss Kyle's old persona and style of taking videos. So a lot of people seem to be attributing a lot of Kyle's change to Crystal. Um, I think that definitely like their combination of Kyle and Crystal I think has definitely altered his content uh, you know, undeniably just because that kind of tandem that's created I think kind of created like a tapering down of like the delivery of his content and it's less focused. Here's the thing too, it's like it's just you know these, this kind of work is essentially, it's a full-time job kind of situation, right, obviously. So it is more so a zero-sum game. So he has to work on Crystal Kyle and Friends, which is a very big podcast, and Secular Talk. He's going to have less resources to allocate to Secular Talk, right, just from basic logic. So it definitely has impacted it for sure. It definitely has had some impact. But I think he's basically trying to say that it's, it's this is a common comment, is that it's lazier, it's less charged, and this kind of thing. His content was still charged before the Crystal Kyle and Friends thing happened. Uh, I don't know if it started to drop off a little bit, but at the same time, I just feel like you can't ex expect like this. Look how he says it. He says, coming from a young, relatable, emotionally charged college student. So it's like, that's really cool when you're a young, relational, uh, relational, relatable, emotionally charged college student. That's cool when that's who you are. And Kyle was that when he first started his channel in 2008. But eventually you grow up and you are no longer a young, relatable, emotionally charged college student. So you're not going to be yelling and ranting and raving about everything. Eventually you start to get numb to it and you start to grow in your knowledge base and your science understanding of things. And you learn economics and all this stuff. And so you're bringing more empirical analysis and you learn about constitutional law and what is the incorporation doctrine and all this other stuff, right? Uh, you know, all this other you know stuff that you learn about in terms of constitutional law, what is originalism and blah 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 and so uh, you learn all this stuff and so you're no longer a young relatably emo a relatable emotionally charged college student that's not who you are anymore so you can't expect him to be that forever that doesn't even make sense and you have to grow as a person but uh, I guess that's a development that I didn't even see. I didn't. Because to me, the bigger problem, I think, is I think Kyle is more so not developing is what I think he is. Um because I think that he just hasn't really like changed his delivery or not delivery, but his content, his analysis, his information base that he has in which he's running off of. Like, for example, for my analysis, you can see mine, if you go back, like even just like four years ago or something like that, like it's complete dog water. It's terrible uh, because I just wasn't like I didn't know all that much stuff in terms of like political science and economics and analysis. And so now you see, you know, I'm explaining things with political science concepts, citing like Supreme Court press like old like you know George H.W. Bush approval ratings and logical fallacies and drawing economic graphs and explaining to you monopsonies and blah 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 aggregate demand shifting lab blah 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 right way 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 different because my knowledge base has severely grown just in the past like a uh, year essentially right just in the past year year and a half and so that's just development as a person you're supposed to develop as a commentator you're supposed to develop you're not supposed to be one thing and then stay that forever that's not what it is so i would say he has changed from this now what is the cause of him changing from the young relatable emotionally charged college student is it crystal is it just naturally time 
there's no way you're going to stay that way forever. It's impossible. Jimmy Jimmy Dore is only able to stay that way because he, before he does his show, he's always under the influence of a lot of alcohol. So he's able to be like really animated like that. But eventually that kind of thing just goes away as you grow up and you start to get numb to it, you know? You start to get, get numb to the terrible stuff that's happening in politics. But my thing with Kyle is he's just not, like his analysis is the same. So my personal uh, thing of why so many people are disillusioned, because these people who are disillusioned aren't really like the masses of the Secular Talk channel. They're just very loud, small groups of people who are very big fans of Secular Talk. So they're big fans in terms of volume decibel wise, but not number wise. That's what it is essentially, right? So um, that's what I think it is. I think that these people are just getting tired of the Secular Talk analysis. Now, the Secular Talk analysis is a very basic level analysis of politics. That's just what it is. There's not much real like political science infused to it. There's not like much logic or like understanding of constitutional law or any of that stuff in it. It's very basic level. So even when you see like, you know, he sent out a tweet about the Supreme Court uh, case with uh, Joe Biden's like thing getting frozen. Or I remember if it was a federal case at the time, but Joe Biden, his like uh, student loan debt, uh, you know, cancellation that he did getting t overturned and paused. Right. Uh, he was like, oh, the federal government owns the loans. The federal government should have the power to, uh, you know, uh, cancel the loans. But the problem was is that it wasn't the federal government, it was Joe Biden doing it. Joe Biden is only a part of the federal government. He's the executive, chief executive. So he's part of the executive branch. So you have to prove that the executive has the power to cancel that student loan debt. Now people are saying, oh, the House of Representatives has the power of the purse. So they are the ones who have the power of the legislative branch. But the president also has statutorily delegated power. Statutory is any law passed by a legislature, in this case, Congress. So an example is uh, the authorization of use for military force. Uh, Congress passes it and says, we give the president of the United States the power to go and attack anybody who is basically terrorism in the name of terrorism, go attack them. We give you the power. That's statutorily delegated power. You pass a law giving the president power. So he's saying, I have statutorily delegated power from the HEROES Act. Uh, but really, I don't really think he does based on a reading of the statute. Uh, but he didn't even really, I don't think he really understood that. There's a difference between the federal government and the executive, right? The executive branch of the executive. So it's just like very low level kind of like stuff like that. And that's that's fine. This is the thing, right? That's fine. Because a lot of this stuff, as I start to raise my knowledge base and see tweets that are just like not really true, they're just kind of politics for dumb people, right? People don't have the information levels that I do in terms of knowing like what the incorporation doctrine is and all this other stuff um, in terms of like uh, old constitutional law or uh, this economics and other stuff and so it's too like too much in the weeds for them and so there needs to be somebody who's able to say stuff in a very basic way that's politically correct even though it might not be like perfect it might be wrong it's probably wrong in like the literal sense it's not actually like properly correct um, but so there needs to be somebody doing that and to credit to give credit to Kyle he's done a pretty good job of like really staying like he was doing some clickbait for a while maybe he noticed that and he's kind of switched back but I mean if you see his videos it's kind of like it's all mostly uh, these new ones are a little bit different but previously I mean there's so much of this is like actual news stories and these kinds of videos don't get views but he doesn't really care you know like a video about you know Netanyahu or like you know all this other stuff um, about the Supreme Court and you know just tons of stuff like this Southwest and this kind of stuff these are not videos that get views videos that get views are look at what Kanye said look at Andrew Tate uh, look at um, you know Tim Pool look at what uh, Vosh said look at what uh, this was or look at Trump farted and stuff like that right there's different levels and look at how horrifying these fucking thumbnails are dude what are you doing bro but um, you know, there's different levels to like the drama. And so I'm actually working on creating a concept called like, I'm gonna call it the drama line. It's going to be like a hierarchical ranking of like drama types of videos, because there's first, like the first level is like, Oh, Jimmy Dore says this, or Jimmy Dore goes after Sam Cedar for this. And then there's like, you know, a different kind of a lower video where it's like, Oh, you know, <laughs> Tim pool says this, or then below that is like, Oh, Tucker Carlson says this about Sean Hannity. Like it's too, 
you know, news people. And then there's like a lower one that's like, oh, Trump says this about Bernie. And then there's one lower. And then eventually you get down to, oh, the real workers are striking for paid sick leave. Like that's pretty low on the drama line, if not almost at zero. The absolute zero would be making a video like explaining, you know, uh, you know, what originalism is or, you know, what um, an amicus curiae brief is or what a writ of certiori is or, you know, uh, what is comparative adva advantage versus, you know, absolute advantage. So those are not news videos. They're just educational videos. But that's kind of the, the thing here. So he's done a pretty good job, I would say, of really staying kind of on that. So credit to him. I mean, he's sacrificing a lot of views because he could clickbait the fuck out of his channel. So he's the one who's doing that. He's the one staying substantive. That's him. So credit to him on that. But he is going to play that role. That's just who he is. He's going to continue his kind of like low level, very basic level analysis. Um, and he kind of has to. That's the only thing that appeals to general swaths of the populace. So even people, somebody like a David Pakman or a Sam Cedar know a lot of stuff, but uh, they really struggle. Like Sam Cedar needs co-hosts. Kyle doesn't need co-hosts. Sam Cedar needs co-hosts because his delivery is too boring. And he has like, like a, he's a policy wonk. So he's, he has, he knows a lot of information that people usually can't actually digest. And I'm finding that out is I have to figure out now, okay, how do I explain to people the Federal Reserve is trying to taper aggregate demand. And then, you know, as a response to that, you know, businesses are attempting to lower their prices in order to increase the quantity demanded of their products, not shift the demand curve to the right, but increase the quantity demanded of their products. How do I explain that to somebody without sounding like a witch? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I don't know, that's going to be the challenge for me too, because, you know, I'm in school right now learning. And so there's a ton of information that's just coming in that I'm just pouring into these videos uh, that are very relevant, legit political science, economics, philosophy, et cetera, et cetera, constitutional law, blah, 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 right? Um, but it gets difficult because people aren't really able to accept that, take that in. So these are people who have to graduate from secular talk. I think that's the thing. I think you just have to accept secular talk for what it is. It's going to be low level analysis, basic analysis. That's very cons uh, consumable, consumable, um, <clears throat> very easy to consume. That's just who he, he is and who his channel is. And you need a progressive who can do that. You need a progressive who can reach out to those people. So if you lose that, then you're basically losing the gateway. So just think of Kyle as the gateway, and then you can graduate to somebody else, maybe like a rational national or humanist report or, you know, uh, somebody of that nature who goes more into the weeds of an issue, whose video cites a bunch of different articles, citing a bunch of different experts, right? Um, you know, stuff like that. Or, uh, I mean, uh, at this point, I think that my videos have a lot of detailed analysis as well um, that incorporate political science, uh, you know, uh economics and constitutional law and all this stuff even in videos now see what i'm noticing a trend is even for me like if i make a video about something that's a like clickbait like i had made a video about andrew tate it was the video about like greta thunberg trolling andrew tate afterwards right that's a clickbait video obviously right it's a low level news video in terms of like substance it's very like it's high on the drama line but it's low value right um but even in that video i spent like half the video talking about uh, media literacy and talking about the macro analysis of the media and how the pizza story was fake and it had like over it had hundreds of thousands millions of favorites and everybody believed it and I was talking about oh this is the new era we're entering and so it's even then it, it turns I try to turn it into something substantive that can actually be analyzed um, and I make different connections and stuff to bring into different stories so you know even my videos have a lot of information in them I would say um, you know what I mean? So at this point, I would say, you know, analysis wise, it's probably deeper than Kyle's videos are. Uh, but, you know, obviously he's a bigger channel, right? Uh, because he needs that because it uh, appeals to most people. So I would say anybody who there's so many people who are like this, who are the high, high number, high, like volume fans, decibel wise, who just have to move on and find somebody else to watch. Secular talk will not meet your needs. And asking him to, I think it's just it's a waste of time. And you need somebody who is going to appeal to those people. And I think Kyle is those people.